This video will help you get started using Raptor Dev for controller and display applications. Raptor Dev is a custom block library used in MATLAB Simulink to quickly and effectively create software for a wide selection of controllers and displays. First we will start out at New Eagle's product wiki, navigating to the Raptor Dev page and clicking here underneath the Get Started section. All links will be in the description at the end of the video. Prerequisites for Raptor Dev are located here, as well as displayed on the screen. You'll need a MATLAB Simulink license, 2012A or newer, embedded coder, MATLAB coder, and Simulink coder. To download Raptor Dev, go to software.neweagle.net and register for an account. Once registered, log in and use the projects dropdown to select Raptor Dev. Listed here are all compatible MATLAB versions with Raptor software releases. Using the chart at the top of your screen, you can see that even older MATLAB versions support newer Raptor releases, so it is recommended to use the newest version of Raptor that is available. After installing Raptor Dev, the Raptor Configuration Editor will open. This is used to select your preferred version of MATLAB to use with Raptor Dev. The New Eagle License Viewer is where software licenses can be viewed and updated. To update, simply click Update Licenses Online. Or to request a new license, navigate to the Settings tab and then New License. With a wide variety of control and display modules, Raptor Hardware is the perfect pit stop for your EV applications or engine control solutions. And a full hardware list can be found on New Eagle's product wiki. This is a sample controller project, and this is the main page, including the ECU definition, CAN definition, XCP protocol definition, and the foreground time trigger. The ECU definition block is how the module is chosen for the software. You open it up, select the drop down, and here's a list of supported ECUs. Select one of those, and now you can build your software for that module. The software is designed in the foreground, and contains controls and plant. Yet this is just our sample. Since this is completely customizable, the options are limitless. In this case, within plant, the inputs and outputs are all set up. Here we have a can receive block, which is specified by the DBC you input into the system. Next over we have analog input blocks, which are defined by the user based on the hardware's inputs. These can be as complex or as simple as they need to be for your specific project. In the control subsystem, this is just a basic example of some control logic. Here we control an LED, but this could be redesigned to control a whole vehicle system. Switching over to displays, the set is very similar. As seen in the Raptor Dev introduction and tutorial, the display library is vast and very customizable. Here is a simulator built using Raptor Dev and compiled to be used with the PC. This allows you to control your system using a display app to simulate using a physical display. This also lets you see if you've positioned visuals correctly and that you chose the right colors. For anything from software development to our PC tools, New Eagle will be there from the start to the end. With a wide variety of experienced engineers, New Eagle's application solutions are virtually limitless. And remember, for every problem, there is a solution. 